Good afternoon, good afternoon guys. Greetings from Busan, South Korea. Sun's gone away. First time we've been here where we haven't had any sun. Well, that's kind of nice because it's cooled down a little bit. And right now we are going to explore Gamcheon Cultural Village, an iconic spot here in Busan. Like if you can imagine this hill with these really colorful houses, they call it the Machu Picchu of Busan, which is a kind of funny uh, nickname. To me, it reminds me of Valparaiso in Chile, a very colorful area. And our plan is we're gonna wander around show you the views, show you the colorful houses, but the real reason we're here is to eat Korean street food as well. So we're gonna be chowing down on delicious Korean street food here in Busan. Let's make it happen. 안녕하세요. 붕어빵. 아, 세 개? 세 개, 천 원. 세 개, 천 원. 네, 감사합니다. 천 원 드릴까요? 아, 천 원, 네. 요리 해야지, 요리. 오우, 맛있겠다. 맛있어요. 하추. 고맙습니다. 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 Guys, we're starting off with a bang. Two meters in, we found Korean street food. So we're starting with bungopang. If you guys have watched my uh, Japanese content, there's a very similar thing in Japan. And basically what this is, you get three of these little fish shape they call them cakes to me they're more like they're kind of like waffly type of things it's basically like a waffle type of batter okay inside you've got red bean paste and they're delicious man they're so good in the winter i used to eat these when i lived in korea you know the fish looks kind of cute a little bit sad that i'm gonna have to bite into it but this is what you gotta do to enjoy the good food mm. look at that guys see the red bean paste in there it's really tasty Mm. These have been sitting out for a little bit. They're not piping hot. They taste best when they've been freshly made. Like, I love these when they're freshly made. One more bite. To be honest, at three for Chon Wan, three for less than a US dollar, it's one of the most affordable Korean street food snacks you can try. They're really popular with middle school, high school kids. I'm trying a type of Korean street food I have never had before. It's basically like a shrimp stick. It's called seyu, which in Korean means shrimp, and hot bar. I guess it's a hot bar. And he nuked it up in the microwave, hence the hot, and also put uh, some ketchup and mustard on there. So yeah, it should be interesting. Let's give it a chance. Okay. I mean, I definitely taste the shrimp. I'm not entirely sure what the rest of the bar is. I feel like, let me try that on its own. It's a moisture consistency. It almost reminds me a bit of a pancake. It's got like some vegetables in there. It tastes good with the ketchup and mustard. I like the shrimp, but the bar itself was nothing to write home about. It's okay. It's very spongy. It's a bit fishy too. Price at 3,000 won. It's not the cheapest thing you can get in terms of Korean street food. For me, this is just a very okay. Not amazing, but um, I'll have another bite of shrimp. Say a hot bar, guys. What do you think of this place so far? Man, I love this place. We came here a few days ago when we were with the group. So I wanted to come back. You know, we didn't eat any street food. We just no. saw it in like half an hour. Yeah. But today's super quiet. Sunday afternoon, like no tourists at all. And, you know, obviously it's a souvenir shop, restaurant, street food. And there's also amazing views from here. And yeah, this terrace actually was the best view we had when wow. we went here. This is cool guy selling samul chamwe, which is I guess is I call the golden watermelon. This is a Korean fruit I don't believe I've tried before. This is really interesting. Oh, I'm backing up the truck, trying not to get run over. Mm. 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 It tastes a little bit like a honeydew melon, except a little more sour, still sweet, and a little bit more crunchy. Given that it's a late Sunday afternoon, there aren't as many vendors and street food options available. Also, less people hanging out in this area, but we're still gonna try our best to have as much Korean street food as we possibly can. As I'm walking along here, I'm noticing places selling orange juice, ice cream, and David just told me, there's somewhere that has frozen beer. There's frozen beer, but look at this. What is this? Like what? No idea what that is. I'm trying that. Wow. Frozen beer. Ah. Beer. Ice like beer. Mm. 
All right guys, this has become a really unique Korean street food tour. We're literally trying stuff we've never had before. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. It's like a, I don't know, it feels like jello. Look at that, it jiggles. It's got some chocolate sauce and it's something that appears to be like maybe some peanut powder. So I'm going to just hack and try eating it. Just like creating slices here. No idea how to eat this. I don't even know what it's called to be honest. The store didn't have a sign for it. We just saw it kind of sitting there and we're like, yeah, let's try it. Grabbing some with the chocolate sauce. Ooh, look, it's dripping all over the place. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's like a smooth jello, and that's a very artificial chocolate sauce. <laughs> yeah, see, I love it. <laughs> but mix it with a peanut powder. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start like going like this, you know. <laughs> this looks kind of disgusting now, but I think this would be popular with kids. So the gel itself doesn't have a ton of flavor. It really like gains its flavor from the sauce. Now that I've added the chocolate and the peanut together, it's tasting quite a bit better. I actually quite like it. I think I'm gonna finish the whole thing. Some of these Korean street food items we've had today, this is the first time I've ever seen them. And having lived in Korea for a little while, it's quite interesting because I feel like it's rare for me to find something that I haven't seen at least once somewhere. Mm. This is 3,001, so like less than three US bucks. The beer was 4,500. I haven't had that yet. That's coming up. Yeah, that was actually pretty good, to be honest. I didn't start off loving it, but... And thanks, man. There's the beer, frozen beer. This is about three quarters of the cup of straight beer. And then they had this like, it looks like a soft ice cream dispensing uh, kind of machine. And it just like added like a foamy kind of beer type of thing. I don't even think it has the taste of ice cream. I think it actually tastes like beer. Let me try that. All right. It tastes like really light, soft serve ice cream with a little bit of beer flavor. You can imagine this is like kind of like a beer float. I'm gonna actually try the beer, mix this around a bit more. When you actually put the straw down to the bottom, you're just tasting the beer. The only way you get the foamy part is if you kind of just grab it with a straw. I mean, it's interesting. I wouldn't go out of my way to have this one again. I mean, I'd rather just have the extra beer than the foam. I mean, if we're gonna have a beer, you want a beer, right? You don't want it watered down by some kind of strange foam. Man, this is turning out to be a bit of a bizarre street food tour. <laughs> like, there's more misses than hits. Shops are closing, so we'll see what we can find. And right across where we had the dessert and also the beer, there is the number one lookout point. This is basically like the postcard perfect view from this uh, particular neighborhood. Dun, 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 dun. Check out them views. That is the second observation point we have found so far. Yeah, this one's way better. Uh, the views are just sick from up here. Look, I know the ocean. See the whole oh, neighborhood. Man. It just goes slowly goes down like a staircase, right? Yeah, yeah. You have a few tall buildings there. Yeah. They're sort of interfering in the view, but yeah, <laughs> can't really move them, right? Yeah, move them. I know they stick out a bit like a sore thumb. Like what? what I know. What, what you're explaining is like literally right here. Look at that. Look at those tall buildings, and then you have the colorful ones below, behind, and to the sides of it. Basically, the street is closed up shop. Yep. Sunday. I mean, people need to take the day off. I get it. That's it for the street food tour here. That's, That's it. not it for the food adventure. We're going to head down. We're going to look for a place that has beer and food. We took a taxi ride and where are we now, dude? So we're back in the center of the city. As you can see, there's like the entertainment district. Yep. And right here is a Gaomigi Brewing. So craft beer and yeah. Yeah, look at this street. This street is like lit up. Neon, ne neon central, bro. So we're ending things off here at Gel Meggy Brewing Company, basically in the heart of downtown. Uh, they have really cool craft beers. I'm trying a vanilla espresso stout. It's nice and dark. Oh, it smells delicious. It really does smell like an espresso. Oh my gosh, man, that's so good. Powerful stout flavor. It's exactly what it says. It, it tastes like espresso and vanilla. So overall, man, a pretty cool afternoon. I mean, I'll be completely honest, it's probably the worst Korean street food I've ever had. I associate Korean street food with being like exceptionally delicious. And at least half of those items were like flat out misses. And there's just a few okay things. So I would recommend that like in hindsight, go to that area, enjoy it for the photos, enjoy it for the experience of being there and the views of Busan, but maybe save your street food experiences for somewhere else in the city. I wouldn't go back 
back there again for street food, that's for sure. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to both of our channels. Gumbe, bro. Gumbe. And we'll see you with more food and travel adventures here in South Korea soon. Ciao.